class, so it's Sunday morning. I ushered the 8 o'clock service this morning, so we just got home. I'm about to put some biscuits on because Chris and Isaiah have to leave. Isaiah has practice. I hate them Sunday practices, but anywho. Um, yeah, they're going to make some biscuits and sausage, probably some bacon, and about to get the oven and stuff turned on and get some breakfast made. It's already on. I just didn't, hadn't looked at the pack. It is supposed to be on 375. So I put it there. So I don't always make my homemade biscuits. And these, and these are a good alternative. These are delicious. These are really good. So you get them in the grocer's freezer at the store. Walmart has them most times. Kroger's is where I got them from Kroger. So very, very good. So the bacon and sausage went in here. I took the sausage out already, but the bacon's in there. It's ready. It's over here. And here's the biscuits. Jalen going to church. She went to the um, 12 o'clock service. She missed the first two services. We went to 8 o'clock and she didn't want to go that early. So she slept, missed the 10 o'clock, and now she's going to the 12 o'clock service. Hey guys, so I am just searing, uh, searing these steaks. These are the, I'm over here just making a mess, trying to do stuff fast. Beef Choice Petite Sirloin Bottom Steak Family Pack of Steak. Steaks. Uh oh. So I done burnt my little sauce kind of thing. I was searing it in and I'm going to have to do something real quick. Anyway, y'all, <laughs> I'm making steak. I don't want to fry it or anything. This is my favorite way to make roast. I'll, I'll link the roast video at the end of this so I can show y'all what I usually do, but I'm kind of semi making it the same way. Um, putting cream of mushroom on y'all makes it so tender. But anyway, let me, ooh, I'm messing up. I'm messing up. I'm just getting grease everywhere and just messing up. Look at me, look at me. Don't fall in the crack, don't fall in the crack. Okay. Um, okay, so I'll show y'all in a minute what I do. So I am about to saute this in some olive oil, this onion. And um, I'll be back. I'm going to put a little bit of liquid smoke in here, the mesquite kind. And then I'm going to put a little bit of teriyaki sauce in here. Um, saute it up, put it in the pan with the steaks. And I'm going to put rice in there and cook it together. So this is Sunday dinner. I still have to get something for my husband. I think I'm going to take out some um, fish and make for him. So y'all saw that teriyaki marinade and sauce. So while these are sauteing, I am going to put some cream of mushroom over the steaks and then I'm going to pour the onion, the onion mixture over the steaks and put the rice in and probably some red bell pepper and we'll see what we come up with. Now I'm going to go ahead and put some instant rice in there and then some red bell pepper and I'm going to stick it in the oven. Alright fam, so this is what it's looking like. I only put red peppers on half of it because Isaiah does not like peppers and stuff. So this will be his. Plus I have extra rice in the refrigerator already that's left over. So if he doesn't like any of it, he can have that. But he should like this with the gravy sauce. This is going to make a pan gravy sauce. This roast. Oh my goodness. So yeah, I'm about to cover this up with aluminum foil. Stick it in the oven. And here's the side, some asparagus. I have about equal amounts of this still in the refrigerator because I'm going to have it probably for tomorrow or another day this week. We do like asparagus. Well, everyone except Isaiah, I'll say that. <laughs> and then I have some carrots going over here. I don't like my carrots hard at all. That's why I put them, I like to boil them most of the time instead of roasting them. So, yeah. And here's dinner. Jalen called it dirty rice, so I went with that. Sounds good to me. <laughs> My steak and rice, carrots, 
And those are honey glazed carrots, asparagus with parmesan and onion. And there you go. That's <laughs> how so you was in uh, Myrtle Beach, <laughs> you remember? <laughs> In Myrtle Beach, when I was trying to tape you at that one restaurant, and you was trying to vlog yourself, you was oh, yeah. like, <laughs> "You guys, this Dawn Power Wash is a beast." I, you know, sometimes you get problems with or have problems with the outer rings getting, you know, dirty or brown that cooked on brown gunk around the rings, and. I still have to wipe off, go over it with a clean towel again. But, y'all, I used to have to scrub with baking soda and vinegar and hot water and this and that. And this took it off so quick. Just with a scouring brush, one of those non-abrasive scouring pads or brushes. And, yeah, quickly too. So, if y'all are not, you know, if you don't know about the Dawn Power Wash, it's, it's the truth. Get you some. Now, someone is supposed to be on their way to bed. Yes, you are. I got, I got time left. You have 17 minutes. So, why are you in your father's spot, first of all? What are you doing? So, Isaiah is looking for... Can you buy me this stuff for real, for Say I want some fat for baseball. And where's the sweatshirt that you were talking about? Um, can you get the jersey? That's it. How about we just concentrate on the bat? The bat? Are oh, you going to get the bat instead of the hoodie? Show me the hoodie that you said you wanted. The bat is $139. Well, I don't know about all that. Good night. Good night, Isaiah. Hey, you guys. It is Sunday night, and I'm getting my night snack, and I'm drinking green tea. Green tea is good for you. Of course, I don't like it, and it's natural uh, you know just the tea by itself there's another flavor that we used to get and we'll get it next time but it's mandarin or either orange or orange mandarin something like that but it has a better taste i don't like just the straight green tea but um something with a little fruit flavor is much better and i already put honey in here and i am about to put a little bit of molasses i don't have my tripod down y'all Put a little bit of molasses, just a little. Just a little bit. And y'all. I opened the cabinet and my cookies was gone. Somebody had ate up my cookies. <laughs> Y'all, I almost. Ooh. Anyway, I had a stash. That was I've learned from my mother. My mother used to have some of her snacks sometimes because we would get into her stuff and find different things that us as kids weren't supposed to find and eat. So she would start hiding the things that was, you know, just Personally for hers, you know how sometimes your mother gives you something, you don't quite like it, but you just eat it because you, you know, it's something. And she knows you don't quite like it, but she loves it. <laughs> my mama would have hiding places <laughs> everywhere. Oh my goodness. But anyway, I have learned from her. I have a stash in another place. Boy, I opened that cabinet up and didn't see them cookies. I almost lost it. <laughs> But yeah, I love this snack at nighttime. It is so good. I usually eat two of these cookies. 
and they are Stainstress and uh, they're almond St. Claus windmill cookies. So good. It's like a little family company, if I'm not misunderstanding. I think I read the story online. I looked it up. But yeah, they are so good. But yeah, I'm about to eat my little snack and get on to bed. Ooh, somebody else getting some tea too. Hmm? Somebody else getting some tea too. I'm going to put a little bit of this oat milk in here, y'all. And see how that tastes. What? See what that does. That's pretty decent. I'm put a little bit more in there. It's so good. It makes the cookie soft. It is so good. Hubby's drinking tea too. I couldn't persuade him to get honey. He has sugar. But. <laughs> what team is that? Indianapolis Colts and San Francisco 49ers. <laughs> Hey guys, so I am eating lunch. It is Monday. I've gotten some work done earlier. I just finished some YouTube work. And y'all, my sister-in-law, my brother-in-law, oh, they made ribs this weekend. And y'all know, okay, let me talk faster. I <laughs> y'all know a lot of you all that follow me, you know I love my sister-in-law's ribs, okay? Lord, ah, uh, bless me so so that I was going over that way and she had put some aside for me. Thank you. And so I just put them in the air fryer to warm them up and um, put some fries in there too. And I have like a little bit of salt and also some Saison seasoning on the fries. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic powder on them too. That tastes really good. And I like to eat this, um, this Minute Maid frozen lemonade. Got that from the Dollar Tree. And then I am enjoying myself, y'all, watching Be Love and Darius. This is an older one from the summer. But, Lord, you talking about comedy and just a good, joyous laugh. I love to watch them together. When they are together, Lord have mercy. Hilarious. Anyway, I'm about to chow down and enjoy myself. I was going to do a mukbang, you all, with, with the ribs, but I enjoy them too much. I would not be able to talk probably too good. I'm going to try to have my sister-in-law, if she will, maybe close because, you know, people barbecue later on, you know, towards the summer. So maybe next year I will see if she will come on my channel and do her ribs. Y'all, I promise her ribs are the best ribs I have ever tasted. And they're so tender, so good. I don't know what she does, but they are delicious. Anywho... I'm going to get to eating before they get, you know, cooled off. And I'm about to watch this video and enjoy myself. Comment down below if you ever watched Beloved and you've ever watched Beloved and her son Darius together. Let me know if you have and if you love them together. Mm -hmm. Jalen's too big. Jalen used to, when she was little, come down. To this door right here when my husband would come home from work and the garage door would go up she would come down to that door he would come in that door she was standing right there and go daddy every day and he would flip her raise her up over his head and do a was it back flip or forward flip yeah anyway and so she just tried to do that over at the door <laughs> over there and she ran to him and said daddy flip me and he said oh heck no <laughs> her too big for that now I think you can still do it yeah. hmm? you just don't want to like, you said I you don't think... want to do other things I don't want you to fall and get hurt <laughs> oh 
we're having spaghetti bake today. I've already dug it out the pan, but that's the spaghetti bake. It looked a little messy, but <laughs> spaghetti bake nonetheless. It has smoked sausage in it and onion. That's Isaiah's plate. And that's Miss Jalen's plate. She has rice. And this is Chris's plate right here. He's just getting home. The kids ate earlier before me and him. He was at the hospital um, visiting his brother, so I waited for him to eat with him. And so we have salmon, spinach, uh, we have potatoes with the skins in, and shrimp, and we're drinking water. And I'm having the same thing. And I have recipes for all of this, so I will put it, uh, I'll anchor it at the end of this video. When you get to the end of the video, just click on the videos. And I'll also put them down below. I'm making nachos tonight. So, you know, we use it for our tacos and nachos. So let me show you this. And so here's the bed of nachos. Jalen asked for nachos tonight. And then I have the taco meat here. This is ground turkey with the taco seasoning on it. And I'm going to put cilantro, lettuce, um, the taco sauce and the taco ranch sauce, tomatoes, green onions, onion. Um, and I think that's it. And we're going to eat. And I put sour cream on, you guys. I usually put it on, you know, the chips, the cheese, the meat, then the sauces, and the lettuce, the tomato, green onion, and cilantro. Some, somewhere like in that order. And I like to put my sour cream on with a fork because it just drops through the slots. And not too much. You don't have to, it won't just plop, you know, one big plop. So I like to do it like that. It just goes right through the slits. And this is what it looks like so far. It has the sour cream, the taco sauce, the taco ranch sauce, and uh, I think that's it. Yeah, sour cream, taco ranch, regular taco sauce. And these are the two that I use, just the Kroger brand, mild taco sauce, 16 ounce. I don't use the whole thing, of course, just a little bit. And there's the taco ranch sauce. And I use the Aldi's and sometimes the Kroger brand Mamita taco seasoning mix. And then they have one that's 25% um, less sodium or something. I use a combination of that. And I'm about to put the toppings on. And here is the finished nachos. Or here are the finished nachos. I have pineapple in this little corner here. I just wanted to see what it tastes like. So, yeah. These are going to be delicious. Let me call the kids. This food is so good. Y'all just don't know <laughs> what it's like to be at Tracy's place. <laughs> I wasn't even expecting it because I asked for her to make it on Instagram yesterday. And she tried to act like she didn't see it at first. I was like, oh yeah, I'm not getting that for a while. Come down the steps to this. What? So happy. Mm -hmm. Isaiah don't be requesting nothing. Isaiah, do you have any requests for dinner? <laughs> he just, just want to eat. <laughs> We digging in. We digging in. So I put pineapple on this little corner over here for me to taste. And it is so good, y'all. Pineapple on the nachos is delicious. It adds a little sweetness. Just like when you put pineapple on pizza, which I never liked until two years ago. And I tried it and I love it on pizza now. But it is so good on these nachos. Jayla says she's not sure about it yet. She says she's not sure about it yet. <laughs> That's kind of good, but the jury's still out on that. <laughs> and this is Mister's. He just got home, so those are his nachos. Oh, thank you. 
You're welcome. Hey guys, so it is Friday night. Everybody is gone. Isaiah has to play in the band and their game is away at another school. So he'll be home kind of later on. Chris has a game and he'll be gone for a while. Jalen is out with a friend. And yeah, I'm home alone. Home alone. And went to Penn Station and got me a um, teriyaki chicken. Here's the other half over here. And I have a lemonade. And I'm watching this show. I, have, I think I've seen it once. Uh, well, I've seen it more than once. But not, not hardly at all. Not too used to exactly how it works. But I've heard about it. Um, so I've seen bits and pieces of other shows here and there. And I said, let me watch this. I think the first season was maybe like two weeks ago. So I said, let me see what's going on. You know, I don't like a lot of these shows. Oh. <laughs> They're supposed to be done with their former lives, or whatever. They're ready to settle down and get married. They're looking for love. So we'll see. I'm going to El Monarca with my boyfriend. <laughs> Handsome. I said, just got off from work. And he's sitting down here talking to his sister. Your planning is coming along all right? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was just um, asking Isaiah for his opinion about my hair. He doesn't want me to buy any hair. He said he wants me to stop being extra. <laughs> he wants you to stop being extra. Mm -hmm. I don't need all that extra stuff. Hmm. What at your age do uh, you notice about the young ladies coming up now? I'm Maybe at your huh? I'm sick of them. You sick of them? Why is that? Why is that? All their extraness. And in what ways do you feel that they're extra? I can't give you no examples. They're just so mm -hmm. Attitudes, hair, Everything. the way they express themselves, um, like what they're dressing and the way they talk and stuff. Everything. Everything? Okay. How would you prefer young ladies that you know in your school and different things like that to act? Good. good. Do you know any that act good, as you say? Or not many? Tell me. Young ladies around the world would like to know a no, young they, man's opinion. They do not care. Huh? They do not care. The young ladies coming up nowadays don't care how to carry themselves? It's complicated. When you say that young ladies can act better nowadays, what do you mean? Be nice. So a lot of them are like mean girls? I guess, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just attitude on different things. Okay. I don't think that's as much as Isaiah will allow right now. Good morning, guys. So this morning I am reading, so I'm oh, sorry, not songs, but Proverbs, Proverbs 19. And it just kind of reminded me of it to me. Now, it didn't have like a theme of things. Um, you know how when it reminded me of when you would go out somewhere and your parents would remind you of how to act or something. Like if you was going to the mall 
and they were just listing off things to be aware of and don't do like um say nowadays you might tell your child you know when y'all go to that mall y'all go in that store like if you're going with friends don't be going out with friends that you know that still you know you'll be caught up with them or um don't be wearing your hoodie looking all thuggish you know walking through the through the mall or you know when you're in the store don't put your hands in your pockets because they'll suspect you're stealing something. Don't be acting shifty. So it reminded me of a parent or something just telling their child. It's just like a list of things. Like um, it says, a false witness will not go unpunished and he who speaks lies will not escape. The foolishness of a man twists his way and his heart frets against the Lord. Wealth makes many friends, but the poor is separated from his friend. He who gets wisdom loves his own soul. He who keeps understanding will find good. Uh, chasing your son while there is hope and do not set your heart on his destruction. A foolish son is the ruin of his father and the consequ I'm sorry, the contentions of a wife are a continual dripping and it says, irritation that's so the irritation of a wife <laughs> houses and riches are in an inheritance from fathers but a prudent wife is from the lord so you know a, a wife that watches things watches watches out for the money don't you know that's not just doing everything and spending everything um and listen to counsel and receive instruction that you may be wise in your latter days this one was one of my favorites. The fear of the Lord leads to life, and he who has it will abide in satisfaction. He will not be visited with evil. I love that one. This one was kind of, I had a question mark back because I didn't, you know how you just don't always quite, it don't always click, but then it, it kind of did later on. A man of great wrath will suffer punishment for if you deliver him, you will have to do it again. So to me, it's kind of like, um, you know, people might uh, help out an adult too much, whether it's a sibling or a nephew or wayward niece or whatever that just keep on doing wrong. And um, if, you, if you keep delivering them, you have to keep doing it again and again and again. That's what that reminded me of. Almost like some things you just got to leave to the Lord or pray for them and and, you know, but don't dig them out of trouble all the time or you keep having to do it. A man of great wrath will suffer punishment for if you deliver him, you will have to do it again. Yes. And that's a phrase I'm trying to remember. Oh, my goodness. If I do, I'll come back. But kind of dealing with that, you know, just keep digging people out. Oh, I know. It's more than making people lazy. You're enabling them. If you have somebody that's good and grown and they're not trying to do right and you just keep digging them out, you're paying their bills, you're doing this and you're doing that for them and they just keep, they stay in the same place or whatever and don't learn anything, not getting better, you're enabling them. You're not helping them, you're enabling them. So sometimes you just got to pray for them, you know, give them some instruction and pray for them. Not that you never help them. Of course you help them. Um... You know, especially in the beginning. But if they, you see that they, they ain't taking that help for nothing, sometimes you just have to pray and back off and let the Lord deal with them. But, um, and that's me saying that. But anyway, this is saying a man of great wrath will suffer punishment. For if you deliver him, he will have, or you will have to do it again. So that's something to think about. Something to think about. All right. Y'all have a good day. Hey guys, so it is about 11.30 in the morning and it's kind of brisk out here. I am on my way out to walk. I ain't matching worth nothing. Hold on. So I have on this, this, and this. Well, I'm not coming for no fashion show. So <laughs> the neighbor is probably looking out the window like, Lord. Anyway. I'm going for my little walk, and um, of course I got my protection, got my water bottle, and my coldest water jug, and my coldest water bottle. 
so that is this is my first bottle of the day I need two and a half of these a day in order to get my water quota for my weight because you're supposed to um, you're supposed to drink half your body weight in water so I need two and a half of these make sure I'm looking around <laughs> so anyway y'all know I'm just walking on my street just walking on my street so let me get a brisk walk going I'll come back y'all it'd be too many noises outside for me <laughs> oh my goodness so anyway Y'all know I'm walking on my street, so I came back around to my house and got a good look at my house. And of course, I I I've been needed to change the decor. I still have summer decor on the outside of the house, girl. So, um, but I, I planned to do something around the time we got COVID, you know, for fall. But being that it's almost November the first, I'm not going to do a fall decor I am going to put like a more fall wreath up because I got a summer wreath on the door but y'all after COVID I'm like I just was trying to get back together personally so um let alone some decor so anyway I am going to go and look for some Christmas decoration like I said I'm just gonna I'm gonna probably pluck up those flowers because it's time and um I am going to get some Christmas decor and um close to thanksgiving i'll probably just go ahead and do i'll probably like right after i'll probably put my christmas decor up as far as the outside and then i'll do the inside maybe the day after we'll see but around that time i want to start um putting christmas decor up because i want it out a long time you go through so much trouble with you know your christmas decor it's a lot to put up and then some people only keep it up a little while how I know I want to keep it up a long time so yeah oh that's slowing down anyway y'all I was walking past this one house and I was across the street but I could hear whoa, whoa, and I knew it was a dog boy I started looking around for cars to jump up on but there was a pickup nearby with a flatbed on it so that's where I had planned my escape to so I'd be running towards that and jumping in that but um yeah I was like whoa, whoa. and I turned around I looked I saw it in the window so I kind of piped down from being scared but yeah just walking taking in some fresh air I needed to get out and get some fresh air because sometimes you know some days you just don't get out the house so just taking a walk So I'm headed towards home, y'all. Did four laps, so that's about a mile. And uh, got stopped by some neighbors <laughs> with my unmatching self. <laughs> but they hadn't seen me since I had COVID and they was just talking to me, seeing how I was doing and everything. So talked to them for a while and did one more lap and now I am back home. It's rainy, uh, just misting like, so I was able to get the walk in, but I'm back home. So I am eating breakfast now. It is 11.30. I put it off. I'm trying to do the intermittent fasting. Um, started on that, didn't do the best. So I'm trying it out again. And it is 11.30. So I'm eating breakfast, eating oatmeal, the Quaker raisin and date oatmeal. And it has nut and walnuts. Walnut, raisin, date, walnut, oatmeal. And it doesn't have sugar in it, I added sugar. And then I have two slices of bacon and I have my plexus drink. So I'm doing some planning this morning in my planner, trying to get my, um, oh, that's hubby calling back. Okay. So got to go. I'll come back. Okay. So I talked to him for a little while. He's going to call me back later, but I am, I just finished my oatmeal. I was talking to him and eating at the same time. Um, I got so much to do today. I had to, I have to be moving. So excuse my little dirty oatmeal bowl. So I ate um, on my last piece of bacon. Um, 
think I said I had I need to do my nails. I'm trying to see which color I want to do. And also taking my vitamins and doing my pink drink, of course. So that was my drink for breakfast. And then doing my vitamins, my plexus. And I'm looking into starting to take this again, the black seed. I know this is good for you as well. I just want to look into taking so many things at one time. I don't want to overload my system. I don't know if it's good, you know, what interacts with what, what you shouldn't mix together, you know, and all that stuff. So I need to look into that. Also, I am, of course, drinking my water, doing my water intake. And that's my coldest water bottle that I love. So um, starting with my water this morning. And then I'm planning, like I said, I'm doing my planning and um, I'm actually looking up how to interview some. I'm doing an interview, y'all, over YouTube, interviewing someone. It's, it's going to be so good. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. I've, I've never done this before, so I need to find some information and I need to get some exercise in today. There's just so much to be done. So, yeah, I'm letting the, I know y'all see that over there. I'm letting the, um little air fryer oven cool off because I made my bacon in there. It is so convenient. I love that thing. Love it. Anyway, let me get on with my day and I'll come back to y'all later. Hey. Oh, so I am lighting a candle. What's up? It's Ooh. our birthday month. <laughs> okay. Lighting my candle. Second try. <laughs> the first one I let get too close to my finger. So I want the house to smell like this today. So we're gonna see what's going on with this. Miss Jade on the phone with her daddy. <laughs> oh, he called back for me. She answered the phone. But anyway, I'm lighting this Friday night candle. And um it's by Rising Summit, I guess, or Everyday Looks. I'm not sure, but anyway, it's Friday night. I think I, I, think I got this from Marshalls, I believe, or TJ Maxx. But see how this smells today, and I'll let y'all know how I like it. You guys, the devil is busy. Busy. No, I'm on this weight loss thing. And last night, Isaiah came home from Hallelujah Night from church with all kinds of temptations. So many of these. And this is one of my favorites. Reese's, of course. They're not the um, pumpkins or anything, but they're just a little mini Reese's cup. I, I absolutely love Reese's and just have y'all and it's a nice size bag it's so sweet it's wonderful of my church they do this but i'm just saying you know weight wise <laughs> it's temptation it is temptation temptation island what just everything everything So, yeah. I'm going to have to try to give some of this away. Isaiah don't need a lot of it. Jalen doesn't eat a lot of candy. Um, but me and Chris do. <laughs> it's more temptation for us. Isaiah's not a chocolate person either. So, yeah, we just, just don't need to go somewhere got up with the mindset to do right. <laughs> ah. Hey guys, so this is Monday's dinner. We're having salad. We're having fried chicken and garlic bread. So I fixed everybody's salad for the most part as far as just putting, you know, the lettuce and basics, lettuce and cheese. And those are the fixings they can put on by themselves. I got Panera Fuji Apple. The honey ginger dressing that is so good. The French, French, and raspberry vinaigrette. Time to eat. 
So this is my plate. I have two wings, garlic bread, and salad. Mm -hmm. I say it's not done fixing. That they're going to try out Adrian Peterson, who at one time he signed, was he the best running back. Hey guys, so I am on my way to the dentist to get a crown put on, um, or fitted for my crown, get a temporary crown put in. I better drive slow right up in here, gotta run right past the police station. But uh, yeah, on my way, and I only have about six minutes left to get there, and I'm about five minutes behind. So, I don't need to be speeding through this little speed trap, though. So, getting the crown put on, I think then in a couple of weeks, I come back for my, the permanent crown. And, um, and then the process starts for the Invisalign. Alright guys, so I'm about to get on down the road. y'all see those witches that look a little spooky in person i have never seen anything like that not like scared spooky but just looks ew. i um you know as christian we don't I, we don't celebrate halloween but um that was like a little unnerving it just looks so and i i'm 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 you know, you're almost sure they had some little sticks or clear invisible sticks kind of holding them up. But they looked like they were floating. They were holding hands, looking like they was casting a spell around a cauldron pot or something. But they was holding hands and just three little black witches. That I have never seen nothing like that in my life. I've seen the graveyard scenes, you know, stuff that just don't, you know, you see all the time that don't look you know, it's just normal Halloween. But that, y'all, oh my goodness, that was crazy looking to me. They just come out with some crazier and crazier stuff, but that was crazy. Uh, anyway, I'm on my way to Old Town Pottery uh, to look for a couple of things. I um, My mats in my sink, they're like, they're clear. And you have to be careful with those because when you pour, uh, like if you're draining your taco meat, so I don't drain mine. I know you probably should, but I don't. Because um, I use olive oil to saute my meat and just the natural meat coming up off of, natural juices coming up off of there. They mix with the uh, taco seasoning and stuff. That's just how I do it. But some people drain their meat and then some people um, you know, got tomato paste when they do spaghetti or lasagna, you know, whatever, and it can stain your mats. You know, they start to look pink and stuff, and that's not cute. So, anyway, I'm on my way to get some more mats because I still do want some clear ones. Mine aren't horrible. I tried to uh, bleach them, I might try a different process, but um, yeah, I'm just going to get an extra set so I can change them soon. And then I'm going to pick up Isaiah. So. Hey guys, so I am back at the dentist today. My crown, my temporary crown, came off. <laughs> it came off. And I was like, what? And I'm thinking, you know, right after this happened, dang, I gotta go back to the dentist and blah, 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 blah. And I don't have time to be going back to no dentist, yada, yada, yada. So, anyway, nevertheless, I am 
on my way back to the dentist. So, <sighs> one more thing to do. I hate getting shots, y'all. I really hate getting shots and, uh, you know, the numbing medicine and all that stuff. Um, I was going to show y'all that house with the witches again. But they have taken the little witches down. Praise the Lord. Since yesterday. So, that would have spooked me out again. But anyway, I am here. And I will chat with y'all later.